I've always lived in Boone my whole life. Growing up here in the small town, close-knit community has been the only thing I'm used to. Just growing up with the same people, playing basketball with the same core group helped me and obviously helped our team with being so successful. Since she was young, basketball has always been a passion for Kate Sears. Now a junior, Sears has been playing with a core group of friends since she was in grade school. And sometimes it wasn't just with the girls. I think when I started playing travel ball, I played with the boys at first because there wasn't a girls team. And so kind of doing that, I think helped me realize like, okay, I can compete with them. Like I can compete with the girls too. That was in like third grade, but when I got older into middle school was really when I started taking it serious. I guess weird at first, just because I was so young. I hadn't played on other travel teams before, so it was kind of like my first travel experience. Looking back, like a bunch of those boys play on the boys team now, or some of my friends. It was definitely good for me, because they're more athletic, they're quicker and stuff. Being able to compete with them just made me realize, like, okay, if I can compete with these guys my age, I can definitely compete with girls my age, and even some girls that are older than me. One of the boys is fellow classmate at Watauga High and a three-sport athlete, Maddox Green. I mean, Maddox was one, and then just seeing them like growing up with me and just kind of seeing where they've gone on to do with sports and what I'm doing. We were all very competitive in practice, even though we were in third grade. It was really cool, and I think it was definitely very helpful to all of us to kind of experience that. And it was weird for me because I was the only girl and we didn't play against any other girls. And so it's kind of like, oh, there's a girl on that team, but it was really cool and fun. I'm glad I did it. It was a good position for me to be in and definitely helped me in the future. From that early age, Kate Sears has been a baller, and now with the recruiting spotlight firmly shined upon her, people want to know a whole lot more. Kate Sears is a competitor. I think anything I do, whether it's like on the court, in the classroom, whatever it is, like I'm always wanting to win, I'm always wanting to do the best I can do. I don't know if other people would say that about me, but I think that's something that's the first thing that comes to my mind, because I always want to do my best. I want to get first place, I want to win, and whatever that is. We want to go back to the Final Four. We want to try to get a state championship. I think for me and the girls that I've played with for a long time, like the upcoming seniors, we know what we're capable of now. Charlotte Catholic, who's knocked us out the last two years, their seniors are gone. And so we know that, and we know we have people coming up that can help, and we're not losing a ton of people, but we think we hopefully have people that can fill those spots. It's really exciting because we're all going to get better in the off season. I mean, we know what we did this year, and we know we can accomplish just that and hopefully more next year. With the success comes pressure. In fact, she remains one of the highest recruited players in America. It's been a lot of different schools, mid-majors, all the way to power fives. I think now, I've definitely narrowed my list more, but I think like this summer, I'm still open to new opportunities that might come from new schools this spring with playing. But right now, like Kansas, Purdue, Marquette, those are a few that are really hot on me that are further away. And then obviously there are a lot of schools closer like Wake and UNC Charlotte and App State um, that I'm still interested in. Like I've gone on visits and I've said stuff to my parents, like I want to commit, like I want to be done with this and just know where I'm going and not have that stress of playing in front of coaches still and all that. But with the portal now and everyone moving around and then so many coaches every year, like it's a lot of turnover and kind of just keeping an open mind and not like burning bridges with programs is very important because you don't know where people will end up. And then NIL is just a whole nother situation with that. The schools have definitely like brought that up to me. But for me, like right now, I'm like, I just want to know who you really are, know your culture and we'll deal with, you know, the money and all that stuff after.